Hi there, I'm just going to show you how to clip your photo to the uh, front flap piece of your wallet on paper so that when you uh, print it, you can print it onto transfer paper or printable fabric pieces. I have two files here. The first file is my actual wallet flap template and the second one is a photograph. So if you have both of those open, um, you can get them working together here. So this uh, file here is 8.5 by 11 inches, the same size as our US letter paper. If you print it on A4, it'll be just fine. It'll just You'll just have a white margin at the bottom that's unused. So here you can recognize the front um, flap of your wallet piece, piece A. I've got three layers in this file. If you're familiar with Photoshop layers, um, the top layer is just a guide. Um, you can see I'm turning it on and off, and that's for your seam allowance. The second, the pink layer, is what we're going to clip your photo to. So if you want to just select that layer, then when you drag your photo in, it'll, it'll come in just above the flap layer and below the seam allowance guide layer. So if I just click on the photo, and um, I'm working in, oh my gosh, what's that called? The Move tool and you click on your photo and you drag, keep your button pressed and drag up over the wallet file and then drop it and it's gonna drop it right onto there. Um, ideally you would choose a very large photo that um, wasn't going to lose quality when you increase the size. So I'm gonna increase the size um, and this needs to be rotated so if I just go up to edit and transform rotate clockwise there we go or of course you can use the corner um, arrows to drag it around whichever way you like so here you can see with the green um, guide where it is um, that it's over top of the flap so what you do is you just go over here to your layer and you right click it and select create clipping mask so that just clips it to the uh, file or sorry the layer just below the shape layer now while it's here you can move it around you can uh, use your shift key and drag out the arrow so it stays in proportion if you don't use your shift key it'll get all wonky on you so what you do is use your shift key drag it move it around and check yes looks good now what you want to do before you print it is you want to turn off the visibility of the seam allowance guide so that it also doesn't print that green line on there so just over here just click off the little eye and uh, it's ready to go you can save it as a JPEG you can flatten it you can merge the layers and how you do that is you just uh, select all of the layers on here and you go well I can't see my bar up there but I'm selecting layer and um, merge layers or you can right click them and and now they're all together so then you just print it um, and that's I hope that helps thank you